Greetings viewers, this is Jean again, and we're in the historic town of Shasta, also referred to as Shasta City and Old Shasta. The town began in the spring of 1849 with prospectors setting up camp at a site called Upper Redding Springs and building the first log cabins towards the end of that same year. As people began to arrive in greater numbers, a town started to form, and the local citizens named it Shasta City in 1850. While there is much to see here in Shasta, today I'd like to focus on Western Star Lodge number two, which resides in this building. When I use the term lodge, I'm referring not only to the building itself, but also to the basic local organizational unit of Freemasonry. Freemasonry, in turn, consists of fraternal organizations that trace their origins to the end of the 14th century, where local associations regulated the qualifications of stonemasons and their interaction with authorities and clients. This lodge was chartered on May 10th, 1848 in Missouri. The Reverend Sashel Woods brought the charter to California on Peter Lassen's wagon train. Woods formed Western Star Lodge number 98 and held its first meeting on October 30th, 1849 at Benton City on Lassen's Ranch in Vina between Red Bluff and Chico. On April 17th, 1850, the name was changed to Western Star Lodge No. 2. Although it was the first chartered lodge in all of California, it didn't receive the number 1 as its designation due to an administrative and timing mix-up. On May 19, 1851, the lodge moved from Benton City and met in various homes here in Shasta. They settled on a permanent meeting place only to have it burned to the ground in 1853, along with most of the town's business district. As a result of the fire, Meetings were moved to the unfinished attic in Dr. Benjamin Shirtleff's home until a new pa meeting place was found. Julius Norton and Silas Tucker built this structure in 1854 to house their mercantile business. Like many others, after the 1853 fire, this structure was built to be fireproof. With its thick brick walls, iron doors, and tin roof. That same year, the lodge purchased the building's top floor to serve as their meeting place at a cost of $2,400. The lodge christened the building on December 27, 1854. When Norton and Tucker went bankrupt in 1857, the lodge acquired the rest of the building. While meetings are open only to Masons, the lodge opens the building to the public regularly at least they did prior to the pandemic. So the next time you're in Shasta, check out Western Star Lodge number two, a surviving landmark that's been used continually by the local free and accepted Masons for over 160 years.